Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your August 1st to the 15th, 2019, that's 2019, money and career reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this reading a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I'd like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you so much, whether you're new or old to this channel, for stopping by and tuning in. It's an absolute pleasure having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. It also has the links to all the cards that I use there. So let's see now, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what the first half of August, August 1st to the 15th, has in store for you in terms of money and career. August 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. August 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. August 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. August 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. August 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. August 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly. Okay, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, we have the Ten of Swords. You feel caged, overwhelmed, and this is really working off of your mind. So the more you feel overwhelmed, the more overwhelmed you feel, and it's like a vicious cycle, all right? The Ten of Swords is a darkness before the dawn. The Ten of Swords is really sitting here and saying, face, it's, it's saying face fears. That's what spirit is telling me. And you have here, you have the King of Wands, which you had in your first to the tenth general reading. Here, you have the Ten of Wands saying you are going to be powerful within your career. Wands represent career for me. So in a career reading, when it comes to your money, when it comes to your career, I like to see wands and I like to see pentacles. This can also be a fire sign energy in the Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, really kind of making you feel overwhelmed, making you feel like you can't do anything right. And this can also be that when it comes to your career, and I know this might be a bit, yeah, I mean, I just have to say it might feel right now that you're not doing anything right. You might sit there and say, I'm not, I'm not getting where I want to be. I'm not doing what I want. I am stuck. I am trapped. And it's always going to be like this forever and ever and ever, All right? Which is rather dramatic, but sometimes our minds are rather dramatic. But you're moving forward in success. You're not going to be caught. You're not going to be stuck. Look at that. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You're completing a cycle. You're completing a cycle. And that was also in your first to the tenth general reading. You're completing a cycle. And what that cycle is, you know, it is a sense of wondering if you'll ever get ahead. It is a sense of feeling as if your life is rather chaotic and as if you'll never move forward. You are. You are getting ahead. And you have the King of Swords right here. The King of Swords, which I love because you're going from chaos at your heart to at your root, knowing your mind, knowing what it is that you want, and moving forward in that truth. This is a air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. You're a king here. You are the actor upon the stage who is seen. You're moving forward with the chariot, okay? So you're reigning in your emotions and you're going after what it is that you want. The chariot time frame is June 21st to July 22nd. You can see also something from that time frame coming up, something that you've learned, something that you've seen, something that you're embracing now. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of wealth, handing you a gift of money or something you value as much as money. So when I say a gift of money and you think, oh my gosh, yes, I'm winning the lottery, I'm moving forward, it's going to be easy days from here on out. That's not necessarily what the card means at all. It means that you're getting prosperity. Now, whether that be money or something you value as much as money, it is moving you forward to the place that you truly want to be, connecting with people, connecting with what it is that you want. And here, let's see if you take it. All right, so I knew you were going to have a whole line of Major Arcana, which is just spectacular. This is going to be a very interesting time for you, especially with a whole line of Major Arcana clarifying cards, because we have Virgo, Leo, Aquarius here, shining through these people as people, but we have, oh, that's funny. You have seven, eight, and nine. So you have this beautiful progression of the way that you move forward. You reign in your emotions, you find unlikely allies, and then you turn inward to what your soul truly wants and where your soul truly wants to be. 
as you do so, you're going to find that you get your heart's wish. You also have a strong Aquarius presence, okay? Because swords represent air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which is right here. Wands, you have a strong Leo presence right here that is helping you move forward. It could be helping you move forward in victory. This person can be the answer to your soul's wish, all right? But you're seeing things change. You're seeing things move to the place that you need them to be, to the place that you want them to be, all right? But I'd be careful with that Ten of Swords at your heart. It's just going to make you feel as if you're trapped, as if you can't move forward. Unlikely allies are going to help you get out of that mindset. But nobody knows if you don't tell them. You can't sit there and feel trapped and overwhelmed and alone and scared and not tell anybody, not have anybody know because that's not going to help you. All right, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Pisces, August 1st to the 15th, 2019, finance and career. Pisces, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Change is coming, most definitely. And you're determined to see through that change. You're determined to move forward in prosperity. Pisces, August 1st to the 15th, 2019, finance and career. Pisces, August 1st to the 15th, 2019, finance and career. Pisces, August 1st to the 15th, 2019, finance and career. This one right here, serenity, embracing peace. I love it. And then clarity. So we're starting with serenity. And this says, A spirit of serenity brings a calmness to the connectivity of all that is. Breathe. Breathe because at your heart is chaos. At your heart is feeling trapped and overwhelmed. By embracing serenity, by calming your mind, by actively focusing your thoughts, you're going to see yourself move forward to the place that you want to be financially. Okay, the place that you want to be career-wise, but you have to embrace your peace. The color that shines through here is yellow that's healing and cleansing your solar plexus chakra. Then we have clarity. Clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred inner wisdom. You need to take out all the garbage, take out all the nonsense, and focus on what it is that you want and where it is that you want to be. Becoming clear in your intentions, becoming clear in your soul, becoming clear in yourself moves you forward. Clarity. The color that shines through here is blue, healing and cleansing your throat chakra, knowing the power of your words, the power of the words that you say to yourself when you feel trapped in this cage. Then we have change. Expand your flexibility for change and you'll enjoy the vitality of life ahead. You're changing the game. Do not define yourself. Do not limit yourself. Let the gate be wide open. Change the game. Change your definitions of what you can do, of what you can't do. Even change your definitions of success. You might be chasing the world's definition of success. You have to be successful this way. You have to be a doctor. You have to be a lawyer. You have to be something respectable and proper. I'm not saying not to be respectable within yourself. I'm not saying not to live your proper life. I'm saying, though, do it for you. Do not do it for everyone else. Start embracing your truth. Start redefining the wheel. Right? Or embracing your use for it. Then we have determination. Determination is the passion for pursuit leading you on a path of personal achievement. You are determined to move forward, to embrace the change that you want, and to have the life that you desire. At your heart, though, this is the only negative card you have in the whole entire reading, and it shows up in your heart. I mean, like, ugh, it's so frustrating. This is, this is saying you feel trapped, you feel caged, you feel overwhelmed, you get into your mind, and you, like, dig a tunnel. And when you think you're starting to come out of it, when you think you're starting to feel as if, okay, there's light at the end of the tunnel, for some strange reason, you dig a shovel, you take a shovel and you dig deeper, all right? This is saying stop, stop. This is the darkness before the dawn, but you have to let yourself get to the dawn. Strength is going to lead you forward. Strength of body, mind, and spirit. Strength of soul and self. Determination to get to where it is that you want to be. Change is coming forward. 
and you are embracing that change. Now, with the strength card, all right, this is unlikely allies being there for you. This can be a Leo. This is very powerfully a Leo. This is a time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd. So it's right within the time frame of this reading where you start to pull yourself out of this negativity. And the only person who can do it is you. If you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. All right. If you need to express your disappointment, if you need to let out your anger and your fear, go to the gym. That's a fantastic way. Or if you're saying, Dan, I don't want to spend money on going to a gym. Go on YouTube, look at exercise free workouts and work your took us off. Let out the negativity within you. Embrace your positivity. Embrace the bounty that life has to offer as you move forward. Determined to meet your goals because this right here, this is all fire sign energy. This is all passion. This is all pursuit of your goals. You're going to find unlikely allies, unlikely avenues that lead you to the place that you want to be, body, mind, and spirit. Your career is right here. You are a king. You are seen. You're transforming where it is that you want to be. You're transforming yourself. And you might say, okay, so why whenever I get the king of wands, do you say I'm transforming myself? How often can I transform myself? Every moment of every day can be a moment of transformation. It can be a moment of coming deeper and deeper and closer and closer to your inner truth, your inner wisdom, your inner soul, your inner self. You are embracing the God's head within. Knowing that divinity walks with you. Knowing that divinity is a part of you. Is powerful, powerful, powerful knowledge. You turn inward. You have the serpent right here. Guiding you, leading you. In Judaic times, this represented the Druid. It also represents many, many other things. But you shed a skin. You shed an old life. And you become closer to the divine purpose of where it is that you want to be, of what it is that you desire. Here, passion is guiding you. Here, you're embracing your passion. You're embracing your creativity. You're embracing the essence of your career. You move forward. You have the purple robes of the magician on. You know what it is that you want. You know what you're passionate about. You know where you want to be. But you have to turn inward first. You have to listen to yourself because for some reason... When you turn inward, at times, Pisces, you feel drowned. Now it's time to stop because look, at your root, you have the king of wands. I mean, not the king of wands. You have that at your crown. The king of swords. Again, you are the king. You are seen. You are the actor upon the stage. You're cutting through doubts and fears. You're embracing your mind, your body, your spirit. You're setting yourself free. You have the Morgan on top of your head. Okay? This is the god of battle. In the goddess of battle in Celtic mythology. You have Hunan and Munin of North mythology right there with you. Thought and memory. Always choose your thoughts over your memories. Right? Be present in the moment. Yes, memories are important and I can see circumstances where you, where you need to choose them. Here, we have the star card. This represents an Aquarius. Okay, so does the Knight of the King of Swords. This represents a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius energy. You're setting your voice free. You're setting yourself free to achieve what you want, to embrace what you desire after having been brought to your knees, after having a dark night of the soul, after sitting there and questioning, will you ever move forward in the happiness, the prosperity, the abundance that you want? The answer is yes. But this will happen in divine time, not in yours. Pay attention to the words that you say. You can have a really sharp tongue, Pisces. Whenever I see the king or the queen of swords, it warns of that. It's like, oh, wait. You know, you can have a really sharp tongue and your temper can get the best of you during this time. All right? Guard the seat of your soul. That's your head right here. All right? You have chain mail. He has chain mail over his head. The swords are the only two are the only two kings and queens that wear armor. Now, why is that? Well, not exactly sure exactly why that the artist chose that. But the way I interpret it is that we're talking about the mind here. Swords represent the mind in the tarot. The mind needs to be protected. In Celtic times, the mind was the most important thing. So when you see renditions of Celtic art, okay, or when you see Celtic art, 
they ha the characters have huge eyes. The people, even the animals, they have huge eyes. And people have said for so long, oh, it's just because they're childish, they weren't really good at art. Oh, no. Oh, no, they were amplifying. They were exaggerating the most important feature of the human body, which was their eyes. Because behind the eyes lay the seed of the soul. Your soul's wish is being heard as you protect the seed of your soul, as you protect what it is that you most desire, as you cut through doubts and fears, as you claim your truth. You're moving forward in celebration. Celebrate. Do not sit there and say, oh yeah, but I'll celebrate when I've achieved this, and, but I was supposed to do that, and you only berate yourself, you only get mad at yourself. No, celebrate your prosperity. Ten of Pentacles. Prosperity, abundance, getting what you want, getting what you need. Now, this can be money, because we're talking about money here, we're talking about career. But this could also be something that you value as much as money coming into your life. This is working with a community. This is making sure you don't kind of spend all your money. Make sure you have savings here and give what you can. Be prudent about what you give to the rest of the world. Embrace your prosperity. Embrace your success. Move forward. As you do so, you know your mind better than ever before. A right here, an air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, is going to be very good for you. Now, you have both of these linked to the Ten of Swords. So be mindful of a fire sign energy, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and be mindful of an air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But know here that the only reason why you have to be mindful of them is because they might be speaking truths, speaking to insecurities that you yourself already have. Be that king, move forward in your prosperity. You're reigning in your emotions and you're going after what it is that you desire. So when it comes to your career, do not be afraid to go after what you want. But don't go purely based off of emotion. Go based off of logic, emotion, and determination. Because then God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, hands you a gift of prosperity, hands you a gift of wealth, hands you a gift of something you value as much as money. You take this gift. You have so much doubt clouding you that you go, oh my gosh, is this even really a gift? You know, what's going on here? What's the catch? But you see the prosperity open up to you. And you see that pentacle again upon the table. And you start to see your soul's wish being granted. Do you take this gift at once? No, you don't. All right. This gift, unless we have it taken within the court cards here. I mean, within your subconscious message card, if it becomes a court card of the, the pentacles, okay, it's not taken. And that's okay. This is permeating every single aspect of this reading because here you can feel a gift is coming. You embrace your passion. You move forward in victory. This is a Virgo time frame, okay? This is August 23rd to September 22nd. This, the Leo time frame moves right into the Virgo time frame. Now, the Virgo time frame is telling me that you learn, you look inward. That's also what the Hermit is saying. Look inward. Embrace your passion. Embrace your power. Embrace your success. Shed that skin. As you do so, move forward in determination. You're going to find that the first half of August is all about being determined, all about moving forward, all about going after what you desire. The second half of August is going to be about turning inward, looking at what it is that you want, looking at where it is that you've gotten and then you have the star card, your voice being heard, your voice being sent out into the universe, success, prosperity, abundance coming, getting your soul's wish. This is getting what you need, not what you want. For business, be bold, be bold, move forward, see yourself as a king, know that people will be taking note of you when it comes to your career, when it comes to your business. And then you have the ace of wands. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine the universe, handing you a gift of new beginnings. Do you take it? Most definitely. It crowns this whole entire reading. You take it and you move forward in this truth. And nothing and no one will stop you. This is new career options opening up. This is new passion within your career. This is your career singing to you. And the divine guiding you within your career. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. It's been an absolute pleasure reading for you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. Thank you for giving this reading a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'll be reading for you all really, really soon.
Bye, guys.